This video gives you an overview of the reporting architecture for Delta Cobra 5. There are other videos on the Pinnacle YouTube channel that will show you specific examples of changing reports or adding new reports to, to Delta Cobra. So let's start by taking a look at what happens when you run a report in Cobra. The user selects a report from the, the list of reports in the report menu or, they, or from the report wizard. After they've initiated the report, they're led through a series of dialogues called the report wizard where they can override the defaults for the report so they can enter things like filters or cost sets that are to be included in the report. Those parameters are then passed to the reporting engine and the reporting engine takes that information and takes the data from the COBRA database and produces the report uh, and it comes up in Excel. So there's a couple of things going on behind the scenes that we're going to talk about. So for each report, there are report properties that lay out the defaults for the report. And these defaults cover things like what calendars to be used, what cost sets, um, those kinds of things. And then the report properties also control which of those things users are allowed to override in the report wizard. Uh, so it controls whether the calendar dialog will be displayed, for example, and whether you know, the user can override the, the calendar details. So report properties are important. And then there's also report templates. So for each report, there's a report template. Um, this is an Excel file that contains the formatting details, calculations, and so on for that specific report. So the reporting engine uses that and the, the data coming from the database, the, the parameters and so on, and uses all that to format the report that comes out in Excel. So we're going to take a look in more detail at how the report properties and the report templates work. So you get to the report properties, you right click on a report in the report menu, and then the report information dialog will display and look at the report definition tab to see the properties for that specific report. So let's take a look at the report properties dialog, report definition dialog, sorry. So this contains, this is an X, in XML format, so it's a little bit intimidating to read, but it's, it's really pretty simple. So there's a list of properties here. This particular one is called cost sets. So this basically defines what cost sets, the default cost sets that are going to be included on this report. You can see there's a list of uh, properties, a list of cost sets here, BCWS, BCWP, ACWP, and EAC. So these are the default cost sets that this report will show. And there are other properties there. So as we said, the report properties also control what dialogues are going to be displayed during the report wizard. So, so these properties uh, are the ones that control that. So the allow select calendar set property, for example, has a zero in it between the uh, greater than and less than sign. And that zero means that the, the calendar set dialog won't be displayed. If you change that to a one, the calendar set dialog will be displayed. So there's a number of uh, properties here that you can, you can use to tune the report. And these are all described in the Cobra help. So you can see a lot more detail there. So let's take a look at the report templates. These are Excel files that are installed in a folder when you do a Cobra installation. So there's a there's an XLS template and an XLS X template for each report. When you run the report wizard, it indicates there which, uh, which template is going to be used for that report. And you could use pointer to a different template if you wish to. Let's take a look at a bit more detail. Report templates contain the detailed formatting instructions that the COBRA reporting engine uses to build the report. So, so we'll have the the report template will have the font, color, borders, and chart styles for graphics uh, in the report template file. There are a number of different types of report tags that Cobra uses. We'll cover those in a bit more detail, but it, it defines the, where the data that's to go on the report and uh, uh, how the report is to be sectioned, a number of other, other things as well. And then you can use Excel formulas in the report as well to do calculations uh, and so on. So the report templates are very powerful, but you can't include, one limitation is that you can't include Excel macros into a report template. The COBRA reporting engine will just ignore any macros. So let's take a look in a little more detail at COBRA report tags. So here's a, here's a report you'll probably recognize. So this is CBR format one, and this is the uh, 
report template for it. So highlighting a couple of the tags that are used here. So in column A there, you can see the, the section tags that are used to divide the report up into different sections. So the, the header report tags there are all displayed. Those rows are all displayed once at the beginning of the report. At the bottom of that column, the footer report tags are all displayed once at the end of the report. The uh, On row 29, you can see the header criteria N row is, uh, is what's processed for each row of output that's going to be on the report. So you basically you control what's going to appear on the report in the criteria dialog in the report wizard. So you might say, uh, I want to see uh, control accounts on this report. And, and this row 29 will control what data is going to be output for each control account. So you can see there the calculations for BCWS, BCWP, ACWP, and so on. They're going to appear on the report. You can see the up in uh, box 2A, so CPR box 2A, you can see how the, the contract name gets onto the report. So the, there's a series of properties for the uh, for the project that control what, a lot of what appears in the headings. So in box 2A there, it's picking up the name for the contract using the property cost project dot contract name. And then you can see in box 2B, it's picking up the contract number from cost project dot contract number. So there's a series of properties for the cost project object um, that you can use to get things into the header. You can see in box uh, CPR box 5F, there's a formula there for estimated price. Now, when you're using formulas, it's best to use the uh, relative cell referencing approach. So this is an Excel capability. Usually people use absolute cell referencing, but you can also use relative cell referencing. So the way you read this is the estimated price is going to be the sum of the, the cell that's seven rows down from this one and six columns to the left. So that would be the most likely EAC. So in the Excel column D, 22. So, and it's the sum of that plus the cell that's on this row, uh, four columns to the left. So that's the fee. So it's the, the most likely EAC plus the fee. And you use relative cell referencing because on some of these reports, the uh, you don't know how many columns they're going to have, for example, or how many rows they're going to be. So you, so you use a relative cell reference rather than the absolute cell reference. So there are a number of different report tags. We just gave you an overview of the properties and the report tags. There are many, many more that do a lot of different things. And you can see these in the help. And that's the best place to go for reference. You can... The best place to go and look and see how these are used is in the report templates that are out there, the standard ones that are supplied with Cobra. So in summary, um, the two areas primarily for customizing reports are in the report properties where you can tune what's the defaults that get passed to the report and what the user is allowed to override. And then the report templates is where report formatting, calculations, those types of things are held. So there are other videos where there are specific examples of adding reports or changing reports on the Pinnacle YouTube channel. And you can download examples from Pinnacle's website.